set that now I'm gonna drink it ain't fair you get to be out on day when I'm out on night drinking while I'm acting a fool Ooh, yeah you're up and shining I'm late lies in bed leave the bed think what I did to right then it go to town like I rewind do it again like I know I have self control you guys are playing May 12th and 13th at the Sustain Art and Music Festival. Woo -hoo -hoo. And a little sneak peek, y'all have an album coming out soon. That's right, we do, yeah. Oh, um, tell us a little bit about it. What's yeah. up with that? Well, we have an album that we've been working on for the last year or so. It's coming out sometime this year, 2023. It's going to be called Hard Times and Deadlines. So keep your eyes out, folks. I absolutely love it. Um, how about you guys share with us a little bit of the process, you know, when, you, when you're writing, when you're jamming, what, what goes through y'all's head? Yeah, well, um, Augie and I are the main songwriters, so if I write one, I just kind of write what I can of it, I bring it to the table and let the other guys add in what they have. Um, as far as recording goes, we just kind of, we're really busy on the road, so a lot of times we'll just try and pick weekends where we get a couple songs done here and there and all that. And, that's how we trek through stuff. It's a little slower, but uh, I don't know. It, it works for us. Yeah, yeah. More intimate. You get some time to take uh, your, you know, on your records instead of just rushing them out and stuff. If you ever are an indie, uh, my bandmates and brothers, they own a recording studio, Grammy-nominated a recording studio called The Pop Machine. It's here in Broad Ripple right around the corner, so check it out. I'll get you that contact, but they're just incredible peeps. And yeah, I think it's really cool what you guys are doing. You're touring, you got albums out, records out. And coming from an artist who has like 600 songs sitting in a vault that I never have gotten out there, I just really admire your will to be you and be an artist because it takes a lot of gusto to do that. I mean, that's sometimes the hardest thing, right? Is getting out there and not being able to care what people think about it, right? Well, that, I don't honestly think about that too much. I don't really care. We just kept been doing this thing. It, it mostly just takes a lot of work to be in a band and to be able to do the stuff that we're doing, which, you know, we got a lot of committed guys and we put a lot of work into just being out here and we have, have a good team behind the band and everything like that too. So Takes a we, village, right? Is that yeah, what they say? That's right, yeah. <laughs> we believe in each other as musicians, mostly as the main songwriters, so we're like, all right, let's keep her going. Yeah, it helps to like each other, right? And just yeah, be friends yeah, yeah. and, right. and get along. He's all right. He's a pretty cool yeah. guy. Hey, Ben, what's up? <laughs> I've, I've spent less time in a van with people I enjoy less <laughs> than this guy right here. Brain malfunctioning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yes, I get it. <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> no, it does take a lot to tour and travel like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're on the road. You kind of have to have the... Uh, the heart for it, otherwise it just feels like, oh, what's the point? So, and you can tell from your guys' music, your lyrics, the vibes, everything, that it is something that you love, it is something that you enjoy. So that's why I'm just so excited to see you on uh, May 12th and 13th. There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff going excited on Excited for that one, yeah. Yeah, Sounds we're like really cool excited festival. for that. Yes, absolutely. Hear this new kind the music going round It's known as that boogie ground sound So grab your partner And swing them around And dance to that boogie ground sound So we have our big uh, Sustain Art and Music Festival coming up. Sustainability is really important to the environment and our culture and everything. Why did you guys want to be a part of this festival? Oh, well, we were super excited when we, when we got the offer to play this festival because it seems really, really cool just with all the other artists. And uh, obviously, there's a really, really cool um, initiative behind the whole thing. I'm excited to learn more about it. Um, but sustainability is really important to Armchair Boogie. Personally, myself and the drummer, Denzel, work in the green industries. And we, we work for a tree care company. And, and I do some ecological restoration. So the environment's very important to us. Um, I, I grew up in on a farm. Uh, dairy farm and so food industry is super super important to me and agriculture and stuff like that so I'm all about it sustainability this is that we played uh, another sustainability fest in Wisconsin and that one is called uh, the Midwest Renewable Energy Fair that's right that's exactly what it is and that's an amazing organization too that we're able to be a part of so um, yeah we're all about that stuff 
that's great. That's so great. I do love Wisconsin, the Dells. Been there a few times. <laughs> um, but we can't thank you guys enough for being on our show. Our viewers are so excited to hear you guys download your music, I'm your sure new records are. coming out soon in 2023. And you're here at the Mousetrap right before our very eyes, jamming. I absolutely can't wait. Yeah. Thank you so much. And Let's we'll go. see you guys May 12th and 13th at the Sustain Art and Music Festival. Hell yeah, thank you Thank guys you, so boys. Thank you, friends. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We're Armchair Boogie.